This is my pick list and we got to ship out ugh, 22 items today. So if you don't know, I do two day shipping on the weekend. Well, all my items. So everything that sells from Friday until Sunday, basically goes out on Tuesday. So we got to pick out 22 eBay items and uh, get those to our buyers. Here's what we're looking at. Some books, a football card. A vest, a vest, a vest, a jacket, a jacket, earrings, a golf club head. Well, I'll just show you. So, um, look at the golf club head first. This is over here. It's a broken, like, three iron head, I think. Two iron head? Two iron head. This was, uh, for me, I was golfing and it flew off the shaft of my club. And I got ten bucks for it. It's gonna be a, a paperweight? I don't know. Uh, let's see, book, box five. Box 20, box 18, box 41, box 11. Let's go to box five first, I guess. What is it again? Angela Davis book. It's like an old library book that uh, they like cut off the cover of it. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, geez, don't fall on me, don't fall on me. This might be a two-hander. Oh, nope, one hand, got it. Oh, it's right there on top. Good. This book, uh, 17 bucks plus shipping. We got a little digital camera right here. Sony 14 megapixel camera. Sold for 25 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the sports cards and the jackets because they're all, you know, kind of the same. But this right here, this is a cool buy. So this guy bought one, two, three, four, five, six cards from me. Thank you if that's you. That's going to make it easy to ship out in like a, a small padded mailer. And what else is interesting? That's a $75 shirt. I'll show you that shirt because that shirt is kind of like novel. It's a blue shirt. I made a video about it a while ago. It's right here on the ground. I mean, not on the ground, in a bucket. Um, I think it's from like England or something because that's where I saw it for sale was on ebay.co.uk. They paid 79 bucks plus uh, $12 shipping for this. And here's the last one I want to show you. Vintage Eddie Sedgwick book, box 41. This is one you want to look out for. Is box 41 over here? Yeah, I think it is. This is a book that I sold for 30 bucks plus shipping, or maybe it was like 28 bucks plus shipping. Right on top, baby, right there. Uh, if you see this cover, buy it. Because people like this book. It's sold in like three or four days. And then what we're going to do after I pack these orders up and get them to the post office is I'm going to go through those watches and we're going to see, remember that Gucci watch I bought yesterday? I'll show it to you right now. This Gucci watch over here, it came in the nine pound, three ounce lot of watches I bought. They're still just chilling out right here. We're going to open this bad boy up somewhere around here. We're going to open them up and uh, we're going to see just what the heck is inside of it because I really, 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 really doubt that it's real. One more thing, you see this game right here? This sold for about 22 bucks, uh, Oddworld Abe's Exodus. So look at this disc, it's a black disc. These are notoriously hard to repair. If you have a JFJ Easy Pro, which is like the consumer, you know, high-end consumer model uh, disc repair, it will not fix these. This is the only, or at least the cheapest machine, and these still cost like 1500 bucks new, that actually repairs these black discs. And the reason is, is because the surface is a lot harder. Um, it, it, they just, when they get scratched, they're a lot harder to buff out. Oh, geez, I also have Amazon orders too. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I gotta get back to work, but we're still gonna see that Gucci watch. I just wanted to show you this disc and a little fact about fixing the, uh, the old PlayStation black plastic discs. There's a few Amazon knowers, but really only one I think is notable, and I'm pretty sure it's on this box right here. I'll put that down there. It's Lex. Lex was uh, from Acorn Media. I think it's a Canadian show. I'm pretty sure it's like a Canadian light-hearted space opera, and I sold season or series the fourth series part one right there for $105 on Amazon. Here's the kicker though. It took like three years to sell. Uh, I could have put it on eBay. I just 
neglected to do that. It would have gone for about 50 bucks probably, would have sold in like four or five months. But I held on to it for years, and uh, here it is now going to a buyer on Amazon. What I'm kind of worried about is they're going to buy it, open it, download it, rip it, and then send it back to me. If they do that, I am protected, but it's a pain in the butt, and they're probably going to file A to Z claims, and it's just like I had it happen one time before. They bought some $500 DVD series, and they opened it and returned it, and I was able to only refund half the money. And then I haven't even sold the used copy yet, but I still, I, you know, I bought it for five bucks, so it was still profitable, but that's what happens sometimes. All right, so let's see what's inside this Gucci watch right here. Ready? One, two, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna pop it open using like a little knife or something like that. Before I opened it up, I took a picture of the watch of the face of it, and I used Google Lens to see if I could find anything, anything similar. And amazingly, I did. This is on watchcharts.com. It says one sold a year ago on eBay for $61. And it's the same watch. It's, um, I mean, yeah, it's the same. I'll hold, I mean, if you can, it, it looks, the color's different, but it's not on, in, in real life, it's just my camera and the lighting is not the best. So someone did sell this watch. So I'm thinking now, is it, is it real? It says 41 on back, that says 41. It matches that description. And it sold for $61. Um, you know, everything here is is identical. I, uh, I guess let's check the, the, the very last picture should have like the back of it. But, um, oh, that's 41L. And this one just says 41. So I guess that's the first, maybe that means long. And this one's not long. I really don't know. Um, so actually, I'm not totally convinced now it's fake, but I'm still going to open it up and, and put a, a battery in there and see just how it looks because, I mean, 61 bucks is not like a super expensive watch, but that'd be really nice to have. All right, so it's opened up. I use this little tool right here to open it up. You just pry it open that way. And it has an Energizer battery, so that's kind of a good sign, not some cheap knockoff battery. The uh, timepiece, I don't know what you want to call it, says no jewel on there, no jewels. Says, uh, let's see, what does that say? PC21S, Singapore. Okay, well it says Singapore, and the front of the watch says made, Swiss made. So unless Singapore is suddenly in Switzerland, that doesn't look good. I'm not a watch expert by any means, but I, I use this to look it up, and that's it says uh, two PC two one S. That's the movement. That's like the watch. And I look that up, and I found an identical movement Hattori SII caliber PC two one S. It looks like it's Psycho's company, and Psycho is not Swiss. And then I look up this. Just a, it's you know timepieceking.info, not like the most reliable website, at least by the name, but it says that most Gucci watches are going to have ETA or Salita or Salida. I don't know how to say it. And that's not that. I mean, it says made in Singapore right there. So I think that this is not a genuine Gucci watch. Um, I think it's going to work when I put a battery in, but I don't, I'm not going to sell it. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> it's bad to sell things you know are fake. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give it away to somebody who's a member of my Patreon if they want it. I'll just go on there and pick someone at random. If you want to join, I'll link below. Uh, it's, you know, it looks kind of cool, but I don't think it'd be a good idea for me to sell it. If it's broke, I'll just delete this part of the video. But assuming you're still watching this, then I will, uh, I'll give it away to a lucky winner who can have a knockoff Gucci <laughs> made in Singapore. Swiss made in Singapore. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. If you like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up. I like it. I think it's cool. And I'll see you tomorrow. Well, would you look at that? It works.